It's JoLane Sugarbaker, the trailer park queen with JoLane Goes Artsy at Artomatic 2009. Artomatic is, uh, it's a, you know, artists get together in a building and they take over it. And right now, I'm here with Brandon Hill, and he's an artist here at Artomatic 2009. And he's going to show us some of our artwork here behind us that he has put in exhibit here at Artomatic. Hi, Brandon. How are you today? I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. How you doing? <laughs> Where are you from, Brandon? I'm originally from Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, so a native of the area. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Okay. All right. Well, let's dive right on into your artwork here. I see a, a birdhouse. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually it's a bird condo. Um, it was just kind of a play on a birdhouse, uh, but I actually made them out of old skateboards. And uh, I tried to think what, what luxury would be if you were a bird and I guess you, you had, a, had an option of where you wanted to live. So I just kind of took it from there. I have like Lacoste uh, wall, or wall covering and there's amenities in the back. I'd have to open the top to show you, uh, but it's pretty crazy. Wow, so you repurposed a skateboard for a, you know, a birdhouse and a artwork, too. That is really neat. That is neat. And it's got a little porthole there and everything. And my eyes going over here, too, I, it looks like a stealth, like a government airplane. Yeah, that's a, that's a stealth bomber. And uh, I, uh, I actually wanted to do a portrait of Joe Lewis, and I tried to think what would, what would be a clever way to, to, to uh, display him. And uh, his nickname, uh, or not nickname, I guess like just a, a name you should call him unofficially back when he was fighting was uh, the Brown Bomber. So I took the idea literally like Bomber and just tried to see like, how, how I could display or integrate the canvas or, or the, the, uh, the medium I was using and the, uh, the image and the idea of the person. So I literally painted it on a stealth bomber. Wow, wow. Is that like a model or like paper? Or? Uh, no, it's uh, polystyrene, so yeah, it's actually a model, but I just kind of prepped it the way I would paint on uh, like a real, you know, on canvas. Wow, I should have kept playing with those little meat trays that you got at the grocery store. I could have built me a stealth bomber out of that. I paint on everything. You paint on everything? I paint on everything, paint on everything. Paint on yeah. Everything. And right here, um, I see um, some spray cans. Yeah. Okay, tell me about those. They look... <laughs> This is uh, it's a series I did. There's actually about six of them. Um, I'm showing two right now. It's called Trexolium. You can kind of see it uh, if you look around the back. It's got the name of it. Um, but it was I, I've been making these kind of dolls for about two or three years now. And one of the problems I had is that I kind of, like uh, when I was done, the, the body work, I would you know prime the entire thing white. And in the end, when I painted over top of it, people would just assume, oh, I painted on top of this weird looking object that you found. And it, it kind of it, it paid me a compliment because I was like, it's that good that people think that it's store bought, but at the same time, they don't understand the amount of work that went into making it. So I had to try to find a creative way of both displaying the bodywork of it and also, uh, I guess like like a cleaner, you know, more refined, more designy side of it. So this was kind of like the compromise. So I call it Trexolian. But uh, so it's actually a real can. It really weighs 12 ounces. I mean, I emptied it out, put canola oil in it. So it's, it's crazy. Yeah. A little bit of everything there. And down here, I see like um, some shoes here going on and, and some, some books. Uh, the books actually came from a, a book sale. It was 50 cent books, so I'm not going to take credit for those. Um, the shoes are actually, I, uh, I basically paint them. Paint them, kind of do crazy stuff with it. It's actually balsa wood on it. Um, but just, I, just, just, uh, I had done a show, uh, Cheeseburger Sushi, at uh, Art Wino. This was back in October. And I had done one pair for a friend of mine. And I got so much response from it that I was like, well, maybe this is something I want to, you know, maybe kind of test out, test the wood to see if girls respond to it, which they have. Um, so I've been calling it uh, Chicken Box, you know. Chicken Box. Chicken Box. Chicken box. Okay. And uh, the, uh, the boot on the side was uh, actually just a straight pump, but I added the, the boot top to it uh, from a children's Nike boot. And that's actually a sweater in the back with... Um, with a silk screen of uh, El Santo, who was actually this guy's uh, enemy in real life. Okay. Wow, and I, it, I'm drawn to this because I've seen this in, in some portraits before, and it's very, very popular, and I've just, wow, that's, that's on a big piece of board. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you about this. This is actually, uh, this originally wasn't even a painting to be shown. It was actually just, a, I guess, like a in, invite you, in, invite a person in kind of piece, and uh, it was for Cheeseburger Sushi also, my first solo. Okay. a while back and um, it was uh, it's actually inspired by Blue Demon or Demon okay. and uh, it's got Blue Demon, Demon and uh, El Santo 
and these are, I guess you'd say the the Mexican answer to uh, to um, I'm sorry, I'm about to say Gonzo, the, the Mexican answer to Godzilla. And uh, this guy had movies. He actually wrestled, you know, in uh, and you know Mexican wrestling matches. So he was kind of like a mix of Hulk Hogan and uh, I guess Godzilla. But uh, I love the piece, so I wanted to pay homage to him without actually jocking the style too much. So uh, I call it it's a Blue Demon wannabe. So. Wow, wow, I really like that. Well, where can someone find out about your art, artwork after Artomatic? Artwork act? Uh, you can either go to uh, Art Wino, which is uh, it's a gallery at the National Harbor, if you're familiar with the D.C. area. Um, I got a good amount of work there. I have a little bit of work in Baltimore also. Um, you can personally contact me at uh, babychickens at gmail.com. It's an uh, older nickname I had a while ago. but um, So, again, that's babychickens at gmail. Um, okay. But I, I show all over the city, so if you see me, stop me. You know what I look like now. Okay, all right. Well, we're here again at Artomatic with Brandon Hill, and we got a chance to see all his nice artworks from, from birdhouse artwork to, to can artwork to even shoes. We know how many people like shoes. I mean, that, that's just people love to watch shoes. But So go ahead, find out more about his artwork, search him out, and see things at the galleries, and we'll see you back real soon. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker for Jolene Goes Arte. I hope to see you all back real soon. Bye-bye. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, high five. High five. <laughs>